Good evening and welcome to the September 1st, 2021 legislative session of the Penfield uh, Town Board. Uh, I'll ask everyone in the auditorium to please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'll ask our clerk to please call the roll. Draw is absent. Cole? Here. LaFountain? Here. Moore? Here. Ockaden? Here. Okay. Um, before we uh, get started uh, this evening uh, into our regular schedule, we have a number of guests. And I'm going to start uh, with our guests this evening. And um, so I'm first going to start uh, with uh, Dr. Uh, Jacob Adams and uh, would invite him uh, to our table here. I'm going to then also recognize uh, our uh, town liaison public safety, Bob Ockenton, uh, for a proclamation. Thank you. Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Whereas the month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. This month, childhood cancer organizations raise awareness and funds in honor and memory of kids with cancer. And whereas the CURE Childhood Cancer Association is an organization that is dedicated to helping those children in our community who are diagnosed with cancer. And whereas this incredible organization is nationally recognized for their support for families with children diagnosed with cancer and blood disorders, whose mission is to work to increase awareness of the prevalence of childhood cancer. And whereas the town of Penfield is home to young residents who are battling this disease, we are both inspired and humbled by the incredible strength of these young residents, both here in the town of Penfield and throughout the world. And whereas the town of Penfield is honored to join organizations, families, and individuals around the world as we raise awareness of childhood cancer and honor and remember all those affected. Now, therefore, be it resolved, that I, R. Anthony LaFountain, Supervisor of the Town of Penfield, New York, do hereby proclaim the month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and urge the residents of, the, of our community and communities across the world to join in raising awareness of childhood cancer. Dated September 1st, 2021, R. Anthony LaFountain, Supervisor. Great, thank you. And uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Council Person Ockenden, uh, we'll present that to you, but uh, you. I'd like to give you an opportunity. One, uh, first off, to thank you for being here and all the work that uh, CURE does, uh, but to give you an opportunity to uh, speak to our residents. Uh, we, uh, th this is broadcast live. Uh, we do tape it, and uh, at any time, uh, you can go on our website and you can actually see these full proceedings. So if you wanted to share that uh, with the organization, uh, you would be able to do that. So would welcome any uh, comments uh, that you have. Well, I wanted to thank you guys for, uh, thank you all for, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, doing a proclamation for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. This means a lot to me and the organization. And uh, we were hoping to have a family so you could meet one of your families who is affected by childhood cancer, but they unfortunately were not able to make it. But um, it's really important that people know about childhood cancer. As you noted, it's the leading cause of childhood death due to disease, um, at least pre-COVID. Well, even during COVID so far, and hopefully it will stay that way. Um, and uh, we really appreciate you, um, the town, letting, letting everybody know about, you know, how much of a burden this is on uh, kids and their families. Um, you know, it, it's not only, you know, it's very scary, but it also has a huge financial burden. Um, so again, we thank you so much for uh, agreeing to this and, and uh, uh, answering the request by one of your constituents, our fellow board member, uh, Danny L. Wilson. So thank you very much again. Great, thank, thank you. And uh, again, uh, we this is live tonight. We do broadcast it many times during the course of the next month. Uh, we'll make sure that uh, we also on our website uh, uh, share the proclamation uh, as part of that. Uh, it's uh, so important and um, I'm not sure uh, everyone fully appreciates uh, all the work uh, that is being done and uh, the great work that's being done in this particular region. And uh, thank you for being here uh, to represent those many families, not only uh, that may be in Penfield, but across the, the county and across this region. 
uh, thank you for everything that uh, that you do. Thank so, you. why don't we uh, why don't we get a uh, photo with uh, Mr. Ockenden? I'd be happy to join you as uh, well. No, I just, I just find it. Oh, you're gonna make take, sure. Take okay. Great. All right. Yes, I can give you my email address. Yeah. Doctor, thank you very much. Yeah, why don't you Appreciate your time and uh, all your client work and everything. Sure. Nice to meet you. Probably, probably the right way to do that, right? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me I'll bring it down for you. Yep. And again, as I've indicated, you're, you're welcome to stay as long as you like to see local government in action. We also appreciate uh, your time is very valuable and a number of things that you do. So uh, stay as long as you would like. Uh, all right, per perfect. All right, so I'm gonna next uh, recognize Judy. Uh, Judy Robinson from the uh, Penfield Volunteer Emergency Ambulance uh, to talk a little bit about some exciting things coming up over at uh, the ambulance base. So yes. Judy, welcome, great Thank to see you. you. Thank you. Um, on October 23rd, um, which is a Saturday, we are going to be holding, hel hosting a health fair um, from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. Um, at the base. Right now we have approximately 20 vendors who have signed on to come. We, um, some of the major highlights are we're going to be offering flu shots, tetanus shots, helmet, um, bicycle helmets from 11 to one until we run out from the counties coming to do that. We're gonna have children's activities, we're gonna have healthy snacks, we're gonna have all kinds of representation from throughout the town, different businesses. Um, that have to do with health and wellness. So we would like to invite the entire board and obviously the entire town to come enjoy with us. Excellent. So uh, for our viewing audience, uh, the date again uh, for Is, that, Judy? It's Saturday, October 23rd from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. and from 11 to one is when we will be doing the um, bicycle helmet giveaway. Great. And uh, Penfield uh, Volunteer Emergency Ambulance, uh, all of us know where that is located, uh, exactly. but you are conveniently located at? 1585 Jackson Road. Right. Which is basically right around the corner from here. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly right. So uh, Penfield Volunteer Emergency Ambulance uh, over the years, I know I've been to a number of different open houses that you've had, uh, different fairs and things like that. Uh, you folks uh, do such a fabulous job. We're so fortunate here in Penfield to have your organization and uh, all your members, many of which are volunteer uh, members that uh, support this community. And uh, when all of us are, are tucked in our beds at night or uh, we're doing a more uh, fun things with families and things uh, like that, uh, you're out there to protect us, uh, to help us out if uh, we get into trouble with uh, any type of an accident, illness. Uh, it's always very uh, refreshing to see uh, the ambulance and the crew uh, who are uh, so very well trained and do such a great job. So uh, if we can support you on this uh, event, uh, we look uh, forward to doing that. And uh, one last time, uh, the date is? is um, Saturday, October 23rd from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. Great. And, uh, At 1585 we, Jackson Road. Thank you. And uh, we invite everyone to be there. Um, uh, do I need to talk with uh, your president, uh, Glenn Becker, to ensure that uh, it's a perfect day, no rain? Yeah, we're, 
he's already taken care of. All right, very good, very good, excellent. Judy, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate it as always. Be well, be safe. Thank you for everything you do. Judy, Judy, real quick question for you: For the flu shots, do you need an appointment, or can you just show up? No, just show up. Flu shots and tetanus. Okay. So if you haven't had your tetanus in the last five years, I think they say they're good for 10, but if you haven't had it in five, it's worth getting another one. Got it, thank you. All right, well, I'm Mr. Moore up for as many shots as we can <laughs> give him. <laughs> All right, very good. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> That's right. All right, uh, uh, next uh, I would like to recognize a very familiar face, <laughs> uh, former town board member uh, and involved with a lot of uh, volunteer organizations, not only in the town, uh, but across this county. Uh, and that is the one, the only uh, Margaret Maggie Hessian. Maggie, welcome. Nobody's here. You're, feel free, uh, seated, you can take the mask off. Thank you. All righty, so uh, you're here to talk probably a little bit about? A number of issues today. Great. Basically, we're talking about our book sale, the Friends of the Penfield Public Library book sale. And we are having one this year. We have not had one in the last year or so and have lots of books to dispose of. And we don't want to put them in any kind of landfill. We want to recycle, but we want them out to the community. So usually we have five rooms. This year we'll only have two rooms. Um, we've had a lot of cooperation from the director, Bunny Brinkman and Andy Erkfetz from the recreation department. They've worked it out so that we could have a second room. We thought we'd have one room. So we'll have the community room and we'll have the Brayman room. Uh, the sale is on uh, Thursday, September 16th from two to six and all are welcome. Thursday from six to nine will be the public. The two to six will be for members of the friends groups. Right. So that's a little bit different too. People that are not members can get a membership that day. Friday, September 17th from 10 to 9, and Saturday, September 18th from 10 to 2 will be disposal. And we have many not-for-profits coming to pick up for that. Not as many as in the past because we don't have as many dealers and we probably won't have as many books. Um, I would like to say and give some thanks to some people that have been involved for the last We've been in the building since 1985. Right. And there are some people that took it horns and decided to do it this year. And one is Diane Robbins, Barbara Olmsted Long, Diane Meyer, who we all know. She's our membership person. Carol Pepp, Ellen Garfinkel, and of course, Janet Flanagan. And I'd like to give special thanks to Gary Richards and Nancy Anstett for the past years. They have yes. done this in the past, but they won't, they'll be helping a little bit, but they aren't sharing it this year. Also three important people that have been involved. And those are the three librarians since we went into the library. That's Carolyn Smith, Mary Malley, and Bunny Brinkman. Bunny Brinkman. They've been super, all of them to help us because we have that wrong room. People forget, thanks to the town board. We do have the room for sorting and for saving our books. There's another person that's been involved quite a long time and he's a town employee. And that is Bill Battle, Buttle? I'm Bill Buttle, I'm yep, Bill okay. Buttle, who is, he, yes. He, you can't say more about him. He's been around a long time and we really thank him for all the work that he has done. Um, board, I'd like to kind of let you know a little bit about what our mission is for the Friends because we're looking for new people. We'd like to get some of the new people in the community that aren't aware of who we are. Um, the mission of Penfield Public Library is a 501c3 organization. It's not for profit fundraising whose primary goal is to provide financial support to the Penfield Public Library to make non-operational expenditures for the benefit of the patrons. That's all we do. Our function is to raise funds for the library. Um, then you don't they don't have to budget it and you don't have to pass it 
uh, to the taxpayers. Right. A few of the activities that we have sponsored for those that don't know what we do. Uh, we do the Spring into Arts program, the Children's Book Festival, the Teen Book Festival, Greater Rochester Teen Read. Uh, we do volunteer events, which is usually a breakfast for volunteers or a luncheon. Uh, the Friends Book Sale and Use Book Corner and the library, which we now have. Uh, you can go in at any time. The library is opened and there's a corner of the library. That there are books for sale there. It's like a little store, but it's not a store. And it's by honor system. You put your money into a little box and you're welcome to take the books. And this is usually good for snowbirds if they go south this winter. If they go we south. Don't know. The Friends also provide VIP museum discount passes, which most people don't know are available, VIP Rochester Philharmonic discount passes, movie exhibit passes, book page monthly review publications. We do the upkeep on the fish tank in the children's section of the library. Uh, pub, uh, we do the public copy or maintenance and service, and we supply a signing interpreter if it's needed. So those are a few things that we do, and I'm just putting a request out to the people in the viewing audience. If you're at all interested in serving on the board for the Friends of the Library, we're looking for its new, young, energetic people. And I just found out there's another organization tonight that I've never even heard of, and it's a foundation, a library foundation. Um, I would suggest maybe the board might want to make make that known more to the public because I'm pretty astute to what's happening there. And honestly, I've never heard of it. So I'm sure they're doing a good job and we welcome them, but I hope we're not doing the same things over and over again. They're, they're, uh, they're a new organization just starting uh, out. Um, they really haven't been doing a lot of active fundraising as of uh, yet. Uh, there is a contract that needs to be put together between uh, the library, the foundation, and the town, and the foundation uh, members are working on that. And uh, Mr. Horowitz and I are patiently waiting uh, for that uh, contract to come back to us for our review. We've, uh, we've provided our initial input feedback, but uh, we have not uh, seen any final products. So uh, they really are in their infant stages uh, at this point, and uh, as soon as we hear more and learn more, we definitely will help uh, make others in the community aware of that as well. Now, is that something like the Friends Group? Or well, is, is their uh, they're, function they're entirely a, different? They're a 501c3 uh, organization, um, so. Uh, Which is what we are. That is correct, that is correct. I know, I just, well, it's interesting because I would be more interested to know what what's going on there. So would Mr. Horowitz and I. Mm -hmm. So would Mr. Horowitz and I. <laughs> Mr. Horowitz has been doing a lot of busy work for the library, I think, lately. A bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that, in a nutshell, is basically what we're here for tonight. And I thank you for your time, and I thank you for sponsoring um, the library. Are you getting feedback? Yeah. yeah. There, there we go. You've got such a magnetic personality, Maggie, this uh, is what uh, is, is, is creating that. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to just, uh, I, I just want to say uh, a couple of items. Uh, obviously, pre-COVID, um, the book sales were a huge uh, hit and uh, they would raise uh, anywhere from about uh, 22, 23,000 to I think upwards of 28 or 29,000, maybe close to 30,000. Yes. yes. And uh, I know the friends uh, did, uh, and you probably just scratched the surface uh, with a number of things that you do to help the library out and, and to provide uh, extra programming, equipment, uh, and other support uh, to the library. And it has been. Uh, a big help uh, for our taxpayers uh, because again, as you'd mentioned, uh, that is above and beyond the normal budget this, this board would pass uh, that you would or the friends uh, would provide all of that support to the library and uh, that really was key. And it's great to see uh, that uh, coming back 
uh, with COVID uh, a bit behind us, not where we would like it to be, but uh, at least uh, having a, a small comeback uh, with the book sale this year, I think will be a plus. A lot of people enjoy that, and uh, I hope that works out where you get some good funding coming in uh, to help we get people back into feeling a little bit more normal. Uh, and I think that uh, would be a win-win for everybody. So uh, looking forward to uh, the start on uh, the 16th, running through the uh, 18th. And um, everybody is uh, welcomed uh, and uh, take a look. I'm sure on the uh, library uh, at penfieldlibrary.org, I'm sure there's probably some information mm -hmm. about that. And uh, come on in and uh, pick up some uh, great, uh, great deals. Well, again, we, uh, we'd like to say, too, uh, because we have limited space and we're hoping that nothing comes down again from state in regards to masks, but we would recommend people wear masks. Absolutely. And since it is in the public building, to make them aware of it, too. Right. Um, I don't know, do you still have your weekly... Well, we've, we've kind of, sh as we've moved from our former uh, website to our new website, uh, we have an opportunity uh, not to do just a weekly, but we can put up uh, different events, activities, and good news stories on a daily basis. Uh, so uh, we can definitely get uh, something up on our website about um, the, the friends, the book sale, the hours, Thank you. and uh, the Thank opportunity you. to join as a member, you can come in and join right. as a member. And uh, I see that uh, Mr. Renner and team downstairs, uh, they probably uh, have uh, got a couple of things uh, here. But this gives you a sense um, of different things that are current uh, school, school tax uh, payment options. Uh, the CCA that uh, is coming up, uh, we have right. our 9-11 uh, anniversary uh, that uh, we'll be doing uh, in a couple of Saturdays. Uh, and uh, there's just a good good opportunity uh, to uh, advertise that. And uh, we're getting a lot of good uh, action and uh, traffic coming into the new website. And uh, so uh, we'll make sure that we get that plugged in. I'd like to thank Sabrina Renner also from the rec department. She's helped us out and um, Phyllis Ely. Great. Who does some things for you. Okay, thank um, you. She did help us again this year, so I'd like to publicly thank them also. Uh, we've got great staff in this um, in this town and great people. Absolutely. And of course, a great town board. <laughs> right. Staff here too, Clerk and Horowitz and all the rest. <laughs> Clerk and Horowitz, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. Well, Maggie, thank you. So thank you I for thank taking you the time. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. And, uh, My best to you and your family. Thank uh, you. As always, you as be well. well. Be and, safe. Uh, and if not before, we'll see you here in a couple of weeks uh, at the book sale. Thank you will. You. you will be Hope there. To see you all there. I'll be checking out the money. Collecting. <laughs> uh, you'll be collecting all the quiet money. Uh, yeah. All right. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Maggie. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good evening. All right. Uh, we will continue on uh, with our agenda. I'd like to uh, go back to communications and announcements, and I'll first uh, recognize uh, the clerk. Uh, for any communications and announcements. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. If you are looking for a free rabies clinic in Monroe County, there are two locations and times left for this year. They are Tuesday, September 14th, uh, in the town of Greece, 647 Long Pond Road, from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. And on Saturday, October 2nd, town of Brighton, 2300 Elmwood Avenue. 10 a.m. to noon. And for more information, please visit www.monroecounty.gov slash health. Also, the Shepherd Home is a not-for-profit hospice care home in Penfield that provides comfort and compassionate care to members of our community with terminal illness. Their annual fundraising golf tournament will be held Monday, September 13th at Shadow Lake Golf Course Price is $125 per golfer and includes golf, golf cart, lunch, steak and potatoes, buffet dinner, and prizes. Plans to reopen Shepherd Home are underway and funds from the, gov uh, the golf tournament are a vital part of the reopening process. To register for the tournament, please visit 
www.shepherdhome.org. And you may also register by calling Kathy Gleason, Shepherd Homes Interim Executive Director at 585-381-0890. Thank you for your support. And if you cannot get enough golf, on Monday, September 27th, the Kiwanis Club of Penfield Parrington Foundation, staff volunteers from the town of Penfield and Penfield Rotary Club will be hosting our 29th annual charity golf tournament at Shadow Lake Golf Club, located at 1850 Five Mile Line Road. This tournament is held each year to raise funds to help local organizations that provide services to the residents of our community and proceeds from previous tournaments have benefited the Galisano Children's Hospital at Strong, Mary Cariola, Penfield High School's Don Mack Scholarship Fund, Penfield Shepherd Home, Bethany House, Villa of Hope, our Scouts, Penfield Little League, and various local food pantries. Uh, the 2021 honorary chairman for this event, our father, Jim Schwartz, pastor of St. Joseph's Church and Ho uh, Holy Spirit Church, and our very own town uh, supervisor, uh, Tony LaFountain. Registration will run from 9 to 10.30 a.m. with lunch starting at 10.30 a.m. and a shotgun start at 11.30 a.m. Dinner will begin at 5 p.m. with a raffle and award ceremony beginning at 5.30 p.m. Lunch, golf, and dinner will cost $130. If you cannot golf that day but would like to join us for dinner, that cost is only $35. And you can register and pay online at PenfieldParringtonKiwanis.org. And for more information, please contact Jim Costello at 340-8642 or email him at costello at penfield.org. This is a great opportunity to participate as a player, a sponsor, or a contributor, and your donations are tax deductible and 100% of the proceeds generated are returned back to our community. I hope to see you there. That's All it. right, very good. So um, the only way that I had the uh, honor of uh, accepting that co-chair was uh, because it was with Father Jim and uh, and uh, Mr. Calabrese, who was the organizer, uh, where I got special dispensation uh, to uh, miss uh, a dinner with my lovely wife for our <laughs> anniversary. So oh, I, I, I think that Lovely. that, uh, in the long run, I'll have to uh, do go a little bit of a, a ways to, to make up for that, but I'll thank Mrs. LaFountain in advance for that uh, support. So great, thank you, Amy. Uh, with that, I'll recognize Mr. Ockenden. Thank you. Uh, one announcement uh, for tonight. Over the next week, the Penfield and Webster School Districts will be welcoming back students for the 2021-2022 school year, and actually Penfield uh, started today. Uh, school days bring the addition of buses to the roadways and a need for drivers to slow down and pay attention. According to research by the National Safety Council, most children who lose their lives in bus-related incidents are between the ages of four and seven years of age and walking, typically. They are struck by a bus or by a motorist illegally passing a stop bus. It is illegal in all 50 states to pass a school bus that is stopped to unload, to load or unload children. When driving behind a bus, be sure to allow a greater following distance than if driving behind another vehicle. It will allow for an increased stopping distance or stopping time once a school bus yellow lights start flashing. Drivers should take extra care to look out for children in school zones, near playgrounds, in parks, and in all residential areas. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to more parents transporting their children to school, either by vehicle, bicycle, or walking. Schools often have very specific drop-off procedures for the school year. Parents should make sure to know these procedures for the safety of all children. By exercising a little extra care and caution, drivers and pedestrians can pass through safely in school zones. More school bus safety information can be found through the National Safety Council at www.nsc.org. And on behalf of the town board, I wish to uh, wish everyone a great 2021-2022 school year. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Mr. Ockenden. Mr. Moore. Uh, nothing for me tonight. Mrs. Uh Skull. -huh. All right, <coughs> very good. Uh, let's uh, pick back up uh, with uh, public participation. Uh, we had three guests earlier, uh, but wanna make sure that uh, we give everyone in our viewing audience uh, or here in the auditorium. Uh, there is one of uh, three ways to do that. If you're here in the auditorium, uh, you can address the board on any matter. You can call in at 340-8771, or you can log on at uh, penfield.org, and uh, we'll get the message uh, right here in front. Um, currently, I do not have anything on the board. 
uh, we do have a second opportunity to address the board on any matter at the end of the agenda. And uh, seeing nothing currently, uh, we'll move on and circle back uh, at the end. And um, we'll move on to additions and deletions to our agenda. And I'll ask the board if there are any additions or deletions. Okay, seeing none. We do have the August 4th, 2021 minutes before us and would entertain a motion of approval for those minutes. So moved. Second. Been moved by Councilperson Cole, second by Councilperson Moore. Any discussion on those uh, minutes, board? Seeing none, I'll ask the t uh, our town clerk uh, for a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. The Fountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. Four ayes. Okay, um, I'll ask the board, the town attorney, the town clerk, has anyone received any petitions since our last meeting? Good. Okay, seeing none, we will move into resolution by function, beginning with lawn finance, please. Setting public hearing on 2022 preliminary and special districts budget. Moved. Second. Be resolved that the public hearing for the proposed town of Penfield 2022 preliminary budget and the 2022 special district budget be held on Wednesday, October 6th, 2021 at 7 p.m. at the Penfield Town Hall. Now be it further resolved that the town clerk um, cause a notice of the public hearing to be published in the official newspaper at least 10 days prior to this hearing. Be it further resolved that legal notice shall also be posted in summary of the 2022 budget as required by law and contain a statement that a copy of the preliminary budget will be available at the office of the Penfield Town Clerk at 3100 Atlantic Avenue, where any interested person may inspect it during office hours or after September 22nd, 2021. A copy of the 2022 preliminary budget will also be available at the Penfield Library at 1985 Baird Road, as well as online at penfield.org. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Discussion board? See no further discussion. Roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. The Fountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. Four ayes. Authorize the supervisor to execute a contract for municipal advisor services. Moved. Second. Whereas the town of Penfield engages the services of a professional financial consulting in connection with the town's capital project financing and other financial matters from Bernard P. Donegan Incorporated. Whereas the town has received an up-to-date letter and scope of services dated August 19th, 2021 from Mr. Donegan to continue to provide such services. Now therefore be it resolved that the town supervisor is hereby authorized to accept and execute said letter and scope of services upon review and approval of the Penfield town attorney. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Moore. Uh, further discussion? A roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. The Fountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. Four ayes. 2021 budget amendments for CHIPS PAVE New York and New York State Extreme Winter Recovery in the Highway Fund. Moved. Second. Whereas the Town of Penfield received additional funding for CHIPS in the amount of $67,442.34, whereas the Town also received an apportionment of the state's PAVE New York and Extreme Winter Recovery Program in the amount of $132,409.57. Whereas the town, decides, the town desires to have an up-to-date budget in relation to current income and expenditures. Now be it resolved that the following 2021 budget amendments be approved for the highway fund under revenue for state aid and chips in the amount of $67,442.34 and under state aid and other transportation in the amount of $132,409.57. To appropriations under state aid and chips at $67,442.34, and appropriations under state aid and other transportation for $132,409.57. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing no further discussion, roll call vote, please. Hall? Aye. The Fountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. Four ayes. Setting a public hearing for an amendment to the zoning ordinance map to consider rezoning of 5.16 plus or minus acres from limited business to general business of 
2218, 2222, and 2226 Penfield Road. Moved. Second. Whereas an application has been received by the Penfield Town Board pursuant to Chapter 250-15.1 of the code to amend the zoning ordinance and map to rezone 5.16 plus or minus acres from limited business to general business at the properties at 2218, 2222, and 2226 Penfield Road. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Penfield shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall in the Town of Penfield on September 22nd, 2021 at 7 p.m. on said date to consider said application and hear all persons interested in the question of amending the zoning ordinance and map to rezone the 5.16 plus or minus acres from limited business to general business. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion. See no further discussion. A roll call vote, please. Cole. Aye. The Fountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Akaden. Aye. Four ayes. Setting a public hearing for an amendment to the zoning ordinance and map to consider rezoning of 2.9 plus or minus acres from R112 to limited business at 1506 Empire Boulevard. Moved. Second. Whereas an application has been received by the Penfield Town Board pursuant to two chapter 250-15.1 of the code to amend the zoning ordinance and map to rezone 2.9 plus or minus acres from R112 limited business, I'm sorry, from R112 to limited business at the property at 1506 Empire Boulevard. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall, 3100 Atlantic Avenue in the town of Penfield on October 6th, 2021 at 7 p.m. on said date to consider said application and to hear all persons interested in the question of amending the zoning ordinance and map to rezone 2.9 plus or minus acres from R112 to limited business. Thank you. Thank you. For the discussion board. Seeing none, uh, roll call vote please. Cole. Aye. The Fountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Hockenden. Aye. Four ayes. Budget transfer in the sewer fund. Moved. Second. Whereas a transfer is necessary from the consumable levels to the equipment levels um, in the sewer operations account, and whereas the town board desires to have an up-to-date budget in relation to current income and expenditures. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the following 2021 budget transfer be approved from vehicle maintenance in the amount of $1,875 to equipment in the amount of $1,875. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion. I think it's just important to, to point out uh, one of the things that uh, this board has a responsibility to do is to make sure that uh, our budget uh, equals out at the end of the year. So if uh, we're over in one account uh, and under in another account, we have that opportunity to shift those funds. The bottom line uh, for the budget uh, overall does not change. Uh, we just uh, make sure that those accounts uh, reconcile appropriately. Uh, with that, uh, I'll ask and see and no further discussion for a roll call vote, please. Cole. Aye. The Fountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Hockaden. Aye. Four ayes. Purchase of two 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 HD 2WD crew cab work trucks. So moved. Second. So the next five resolutions are all about purchasing some trucks. The first one is the Director of Public Works desires to purchase two 20 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 HD 2WD crew cab work trucks with box racks, light bars, auxiliary diesel, fuel tanks, toolboxes, lift gates through the New York State OGS contract in a mini bid from Capolino Chevrolet Inc. Uh, whereas the partial fund for the purchase of the vehicles has been appropriated from the Highway Capital Reserve Fund in the adopted 2020 budget totaling up to $40,000, and whereas the remaining funds for the purchase of the vehicles have been budgeted in the 2021 Highway Department budget, therefore be it resolved that the Director of Public Works be authorized to purchase the vehicles with the aftermarket equipment. Therefore, be it resolved that the adoption of the resolution with respect to the expenditures from the Highway Capital Reserve Fund is subject to permissive re referendum and the town clerk is hereby directed to publish and post notice to the manner prescribed by law. Right. 
Thank you. Discussion? The, uh, the only thing that I'll offer, uh, normally uh, we look to, to go out for uh, quotes on these vehicles um, under the state contracts. And because of all the problems with the chips and vehicles, uh, that was kind of frozen on us. And uh, that has freed up. Uh, so uh, what we would normally order in the January timeframe, now we're ordering in September. Uh, and uh, uh, the likelihood is that uh, we won't get those vehicles until probably first quarter of 22, but uh, they'll be ordered uh, under the contracts. Uh, you'll see some of the contracts are local, Hoselton's uh, in East Rochester, some are from Boston, uh, and uh, I think one is from Depew. So uh, again, it's uh, part of the uh, contractual uh, work that uh, we do to get the best price uh, for those uh, vehicles. So. Uh, seeing no further discussion, I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockaden? Aye. Four ayes. Purchase of a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 4WD double cab work truck. So moved. Second. The Director of Public Works desires to purchase this truck. Um, it has double cab work truck with back rack, light bar, toolbox through the New York State OGS contract and a mini bid from Hazleton Chevrolet in East Rochester for a total cost of $30,742.05. The funds for the purchase of the vehicle have been budgeted in the 2021 Highway Department budget and therefore be it resolved that the Director of Public Works be authorized to purchase the vehicle with aftermarket equipment. All right, thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, a roll call vote of approval, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockaden? Aye. Four ayes. <clears throat> Purchase of a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 4WD double cab work truck. So moved. Second. The Director of Public Works desires to purchase the truck that Amy just read off with a back rack, light bar, toolbox through the New York State um, contract, a mini bid contract with Hazleton and for a total of $30,742.05 at the same. Okay. The, the funds for the purchase of the vehicle have been budgeted in the 2021 sewer department budget. Therefore, be it resolved as the director of public works be authorized to purchase the vehicles with aftermarket equipment. Okay. Further discussion? See no further discussion. Roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockaden? Aye. Four ayes. Purchase of a 2022 Chevrolet Express 2500 RWD cargo van. So moved. Moved. The Director of Public Works desires to purchase this uh, Chevy Express 2500 RWD cargo van with a ladder rack and shelving through the New York State contract and a mini bid from Joe Basil Chevrolet on Transit Road Depew for a total cost of $27,841.05. The funds for the purchase of the vehicle have been budgeted in the 2021 Facilities Department budget. Therefore, be it resolved that the Director of Public Works be authorized to purchase the vehicle with aftermarket equipment. Great, thank you. Further discussion? Seeing no further discussion, roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockaden? Aye. Four eyes. Purchase of a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 uh, 4WD double cab work truck. So moved. Second. The Director of Public Works desires to purchase said truck. <clears throat> it has a back rack, a light bar, toolbox, and lift gate through the New York State contract and a mini bid from Hoselton Chevrolet for a total of $33,347.56. The funds for the purchase of the vehicle have been budgeted in the 2021 Facilities Department budget. Therefore, be it resolved that the Director of Public Works be authorized to purchase the vehicle with aftermarket equipment. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing no further discussion, a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockaden? Aye. Four ayes. Authorization to sign a conventional sum municipal agreement for snow and ice control services between the town of Penfield and New York State Department of Transportation. So moved. Second. 
New York State Department of Transportation owns, operates, <coughs> and maintains a highway system in the town of Penfield. The state DOT <coughs> desires to extend an agreement with the town for snow removal for salting and treating state roads for the purpose of removing the dangerous <coughs> ice. The town has appropriate snow and ice removal equipment and sufficient snow and ice control personnel to contract with the state DOT for snow and ice control services. Therefore, be it resolved that the supervisor be, be and hereby is authorized to sign a conventional sum municipal agreement for snow and ice control services between the town of Penfield and the New York State Department of Transportation for the dates July 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2026. This agreement is to be reviewed and approved by the town attorney. Great, uh, thank you. Um, hopefully uh, we don't uh, need uh, any snow ice control uh, until at least December, Mr. Uh, Ockham, or later, <laughs> January, perfect, all right, so, all right. Uh, uh, seeing no further comments on this uh, matter, uh, roll call vote of approval. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockadin? Aye. Four ayes. Emergency repair and secure. So moved. Second. Whereas on March 4th, 2020, the town board of the town of Penfield adopted a resolution to enact local law number three of 2015 entitled a local law to provide for the codification of the local laws, ordinances, and certain resolutions of the town of Penfield into a municipal code to be designated the code of the town of Penfield. And whereas the purpose of the code of the town of Penfield includes among other things to provide for the safety, health protection and general welfare of persons and property in the town of Penfield by requiring the securing and maintaining of all such properties within the town that may become abandoned, neglected and or otherwise inadequately secured by the owner thereof in accordance with the applicable property maintenance and secure compliance code requirements of the town of Penfield. And whereas the property owner of 148 Stockton Lane, Rochester, New York, 14625, SBL number 108.12-2-51, has failed to maintain the subject properties in accordance with the applicable code requirements, which is resulting in concerns for safety, health protection, and general welfare of surrounding persons and properties. And now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield hereby authorizes the fire marshal to have the properties appropriately secured and be it further resolved that the town board further authorizes that the cost of set emergency repairs secured during the 2020 uh, year also be charged to the property receiving the required emergency call out service to the 2021 2022 property tax bill for the subject property will include a 25% administrative fee for service provided. Great. Thank you, Mr. Ockenden. Uh, further discussion? Seeing none, uh, roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. Four ayes. Authorization to allow supervisor to sign agreement with Penfield Volunteer Emergency Service, Inc. So moved. Second. Whereas the town desires to provide emergency medical service within the town of Penfield, and whereas in furtherance of that end, the town has formed the Penfield Ambulance Districts 1 and 2 here and after the districts. Pursuant to Article 12-A of the town law, such districts consisting of all premises within the boundaries of the town of Penfield, and whereas PVEA is an independent contractor duly authorized to provide emergency medical service and is willing to provide such service within the districts, and whereas the town board of the town by resolution number 281 of 1992 and pursuant to section 198.10 F of the town law has authorized such agreement. Whereas this contract shall be in effect for a period of five years, it shall be renewed upon mutual agreement on the same basis for up to three additional five years terms thereafter without any further public hearing subject to the annual determination of monies to be paid elsewhere provided in the contract unless one of the parties hereto shall notify the other in writing not later than the first day of October that it elects to terminate the agreement as of December 31 of that year. Now therefore be it resolved that the town supervisor is hereby authorized to sign a contract with the Penfield Volunteer Emergency Ambulance Service Incorporated the contract shall be in a form and substance acceptable to the town attorney. Great, thank you. Further discussion? Seeing no further discussion, a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. Four ayes. 
Okay, this brings us to uh, old business. Is there any old business to come before the board this evening? Seeing none, is there any new business to come before the board this evening? Again, seeing none. Uh, this brings us to our second public participation, uh, one of three ways to address the board on any matter. If you're here in the auditorium, uh, you can also call in at 340-8771, or you can log on at penfield.org. And uh, I'll check uh, the website uh, and uh, call in here. And uh, while I'm doing that and just giving it an opportunity, I'll remind our residents that on September 22nd, uh, the um, Director of Finance and myself will release the tentative budget to the town board and to our residents. Uh, that uh, will then become our preliminary budget and uh, we did pass a resolution tonight establishing a public hearing for October 6th. Uh, during the time of the 22nd of September to the 6th, uh, we welcome any comments, thoughts, uh, input from our residents. Also, we welcome you to come to the public hearing to address the board on any matter related to the budget. There will also be a period of time after the public hearing uh, that uh, comments will be received and uh, any and all comments will be rolled up to the town board for their review consideration. And uh, the board will look to adopt uh, that budget, uh, I believe on the 20th uh, of October is uh, when we'll be looking to adopt that uh, budget. So uh, that being the case, uh, look forward to any and all input. Uh, check my computer screen one more time. There are no calls waiting or there are no messages coming in. Therefore, the September 1st, uh, 2021 legislative session of the Penfield Town Board will stand adjourned at uh, 7.52 p.m. I'd like to uh, recognize and thank everyone that participated this evening. I'd also like to recognize our friends in PCTV who make all of this happen uh, here uh, for our website, uh, streaming video, uh, and uh, at times uh, bringing folks in remotely via Zoom. Uh, so be well, be safe, uh, thank you.